God, glory be to God in the highest. Thanks be to God Almighty, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. To God be the praise and to God be the glory and to God be the honor. I greet you all in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, saints of God. The Lord bless you all this afternoon for our global Rema word encounter. Thanks be to God Almighty, the giver of all life and the sustainer of all life and strength. I'm very grateful to the Almighty God for giving me the privilege and the opportunity once again this afternoon uh, by connecting with you uh, by way of live stream encounter, global uh, Rema word encounter, live from England. Uh, UK House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries End Time Revival Prayer City. The Lord bless you all uh, this afternoon and I welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you uh, richly indeed in Jesus' mighty name. So once again, I want to say a big thank you to all our uh, members and all our partners and viewers of this ministry. House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries and Time Revival Prayer City, both in the United Kingdom and all over the nations of the world. The Lord bless you all. Thank you so much for your endeavors. Thank you so much for uh, your commitment and uh, passion and devotion uh, to the things of God. And I'm grateful to the Almighty God for your love for the work of the kingdom. May God highly bless us and increase us all mightily and greatly in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Uh, I'm so grateful uh, and I thank God for this afternoon's encounter and it is my prayer that God is going to bless us all this afternoon through uh, this encounter. So please join me now wherever you are. Join me live now uh, for this encounter and you and I all, we will be blessed in Jesus' Precious, precious name. Hallelujah. Makuta la bazula gataya. Melegezo koto mazuka be. Rabagada majeke bodo bozia. Mandelebe katala baba. Rigobo zaka brande kato shakaba. Li abanda kato libi apala gazaya. Remeke telebo shalagaba. Regabana marugo tala baba. Ragabana marige bere bere ata. Ragabana majege telebozo. Ragabana majaga bala la laba. Yega bana mazo ka bana maze rabene me kazala ba bala mazo rakaba shaka bana mazidi biata ibran talaba boli asakata raban tilibika talaba bo rabakan tilibika talaba ba reko talama zalaga tolibia rabade shatan tala leko talama zantolemeta rapatan talama beli asa rematan talama pa ya bana man talaba belia rabana man talama Ba Rabini Mikan Talababo Rakaban Talamabelia Rakan Tabalababa Rakan Tabalababe Rakan Tabalababa Rabini Mikat Talababo Rabanda Katayana Mazilia O Zabada Kato Nobosia O Zanama Balakato Rabakatana Mabiriasa Izoko Pala Kasaka Balakato Abayana Mabari Ataya Abrinimi Ataya Aba Join us now, join us now in this encounter Mabuno Zakata Mabuno Nono Moziata Rabinimi Katala Mazo Ibrantana Mabala Baba Ye katabaro zitaba, rabatana mabala baje, rabatana mabiri asalababa, izoko barana maziata, rabinimi azantoli bigata, rabanda mayekete de bozia, rabinimi atayana mabo, rababana mayekete lebea, rabazantana mabali aza, ramazana mabiri azana mabo, rabana maziri biatala maba, rabinimi azana mabiri asa, rababada. Rabada Rabakada Bazida Bandos Leba Banda Mazele Bebes Rabazana Mabalu Aze Rababana Mabeli Aza Rebobozi Mantala Mabo Ramatala Mantolo Bozaya 
Ibran talama beli asa, raba bana ma ye kata lama bo, raba kata nama bali asala ma bo, raba nama ye kete lobo jata, ye ma kata lama ye kata lama bo, rama kata ya nama zili ata, ye kata lama zolo kota lama ba, ya kata lama beli asala ba bo, rabi ni mi asala ba ba, rabi ni mi asagato zaba ha, rabi ni mi kata ya bandosia, aramba daba shaka brana ma ba. Aranda bashalaga bana mabu, arana mashanda balababu, rabadama ede bishalababa, ria bana mabru shataya, rababana mayata brandaba, ye abrana mayekita barabaza, rabatana mayekita la babala, ye abrana mayekita la babu, rabakada brandaba yede bisha, ribida mashilege branda maye, rabadama yede bi antalababa. Ibra talama bolua azelemia, abolua azelebe apa, rabakata kata kata kata, iba talama katolo bozalaba, lama kata la bazeleme kata, rama kata la barama telebeja, rama kata la barana mabe, raba bana ma rebe debe shalaba, rebe lama shalagabo, raba balimi atalama ba, re o talama zuluguta, rama gata la baba. Ibrana ma bala ma bala maha, rabada ma na ma la ma na ma, rabada ma la ma ya la baba, ramada ma la ma zilibita, rama bala ma yukuta la baba, rama tulubu ya gata la ma bi, rama tulubu raba tala ma ba, rama tulubu raba tala ma ba, rama tulubu raba tala ma bi, raba bana ma raba da baba, raba bana ma rebe debe sha, raba bana ma baru aziria, rama balu wa asalama be. Arama shaka bala mabelia, arama bala mazolo busha, reba bana marodo busha laba, raba bana marebe debe 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 sh, raba dama dama raba dash, reme debe 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 ata, reme debe debe ata ta, reme debe debe ata la basa, ya brantele debe le asa, ya la mantele bere ata baha, ya la mantele bere ata la ba, ya brantala mabeli asa. Rabili mi ya zalama bando, raba da bala bala mazi, raba zalama la mazi, raba zalama bala mazi, raba zalama bala mazi, araba zalama bala mazi, araba zalama bala mazi, araba zalama katala maba, arama katala bara mazilia, raba katala mazi katala maba, rimi katala maba la mazulu busha, rama katala la gaya gata. Riga bala ma yegita la babu, raba shaka brana ma yegita, rama gada ma raga bana ma be, raba gana ma rebe debe sha, rama gada ba raga bana ma zia, arubu kata la ma yegita la babu, rame katu zabranta ne mizata, ibrata bala bala ba, ibranta lebe lebe ataya, raba gada ba raga da bagaya. Rebe gada malama zolo moyata, rabi itala mabalu azaya, le babanda balababa, le abranda ma yege briata, raba balama variata la mabu, raba balama rebe de bish, raba balama rebe de bish, raba balama rabadabas, i raba balaba balama bish, raba balama bru dosiata, raba balama brundo silaba. Rebo bolo bo shalaga banlu azi, raba bala ma yeke talaba ba, rema balu wa azande bele gata, a reme kato za branta lebe jata, raba baba raba baba baba, raba bana ma yede be shalaba ba, rema kata la ma zolo bo kata ya la ma balia, raba kata la ma beli ya zalaba bo, raba sanda ma zalaga tele ya ta, le ma zoko talaba zi ya ta, raba ntolo bo kaya da ba zi ya, Arimi kata la bazo zaba, ya bana mazuli ata, le kuzata bara asita bahataya. Lift up your voice and begin to pray and begin to thank the Lord for his grace and his message that he has bestowed upon us this afternoon. Wherever you are connecting from, lift up your voice and begin to pray. And let's ask God for grace and abundant grace. Let's ask God for the power of the Holy Spirit to move over this encounter. Lift up your voice and pray. Kaba zukata, meku zalama zuka bili azana maba, rabazakata laba ribezata, ribazana mazeke bodozaya, 
Rabba zakata na mayeke talaba. Izaka bala mazele katalaba. Rabba zakata la mayaka tolobuzaya. Rabba bana mayeke talaba ba. Izolo bro kata yala babos. Mayakan talabro shanta yala maba. I kata la brande kitala babos. La meze katala maziata. Rabba katanda bro zata. Le mazoko braza kata baragaza. Li braza kato za brande katala bazo. Le mazaka to livi azala maba. Le kazala bande le bezala babo. Rabine atala barada mazaya. Rabazana mabiri azala babo. Rakata yana maziri atala baha. E namasula gabran talamabo. E katala basilica tua kapa. E adaba zundubu zakatayana mabo. Rapa sakaba rakata kaba. Le mazakata la brunda zilimiata. E atala mabo zabe. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you this hour. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We ask that Lord you will take preeminence. Holy Spirit, take preeminence over this encounter this afternoon. Spirit of the living God, speak to us. Bless us through the power and the ministration of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus that as your word comes forth, Lord, let your word bring exaltation. Let your word bring upliftment. Let your word bring empowerment. Let your word bring revival. Let your word bring healing, deliverance, salvation, emancipation, spiritual awakening, restoration, revival, restitution, reformation, revolution. And let your word cause total uh, radical change in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord God, that as your word uh, comes to us, let your word totally lift us to our higher places in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, let the works of the enemy be destroyed. Let the works and the activities of the kingdom of darkness be destroyed. We suspend and destroy every satanic activities, uh, demonic intuitions principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places, satanic entities, demonic entities, demonic intuitions, familiar spirits, monitoring spirits, witchcraft activities, wizardry, and all forms of divination and sorcery and incantation, projections of uh, 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 the powers of darkness against us. We reverse all and we dilute and neutralize the works of the enemy by the everlasting blood of Jesus, Yeshua. Father, we silence the works of the enemy. We silence the voice of the accuser and we decree and declare that your voice alone will be heard. Let us be all be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The Lord bless you all, saints of God. I welcome you all this afternoon uh, in the name of God, the Father Almighty, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, our Comforter. God bless you all. In Jesus' name for our global prayer, our global Rema word encounter. God bless you all. I pray that God will prophetically and by his spirit will speak his rema into our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I welcome everybody. I see Lady um, Madalas. The Lord bless you, Lady Monica. God bless you this afternoon. Great grace upon you in the name of Jesus. It is my prayer that may the Lord God continually bless you. May the hand of God be mighty upon you in the name of Jesus. Be lifted and be blessed and um, increase in the good work of the Lord you are doing. And may God grace you more and more in Jesus' name. More fire and more grace. Amen. God bless you, Lady Madalas. I see uh, Reverend Mama Nancy. Reverend Mama Nancy, the Lord bless you. Mama, uh, we, 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 we give God praise for your life. We thank God. Uh, you are a great, 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 great woman of God in our midst. We honor the, the grace of God upon your life and we pray that God will highly and mightily lift you and exalt you and bless you in all uh, areas of your life. The Lord bless you, Mama, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. May the oil of God upon your life increase greatly and mightily in Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen. God bless you, Mama. Kasu talabasha, ribu suta bahasia, abande lego suta labaha, leba bazua. I see Lady Samantha from England, Edinburgh. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much, Lady Samantha. Thank you also for your reliability, your devotion, and your passion for the things of God. May God increase you mightily and greatly in Jesus' name. I pray for the favor of God to overwhelm you. In this season of your life, in Jesus' precious name, Amen. God bless you, Lady Samantha. Konama Shalagaba. I see, uh, Brother Doing. The Lord bless you, Brother Doing. Uh, welcome to you this uh, this afternoon here in the UK, and good morning to you in Jamaica. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Doing. You haven't told me which part of Jamaica you are. You live in. So, uh, let me know. Uh, 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 the place in Jamaica. We, uh, I don't know where exactly in Jamaica. Uh, I need to know in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, sir. So great grace upon you and thank you for the good work of the Lord. Thank you for uh, the great grace upon you uh, that God has given you. You've been connecting many people. Uh, we are grateful uh, to God for your life and we pray that God will continue to increase you in Jesus' name. And thank you for the great work. May the Lord bless you and your family, all your family, your children, all of them. Uh, uh, my best friend, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, the Lord bless him and increase him. And um, uh, Karem and uh, Junior Duin, the Lord bless you. And, and um, Karon, Karen, the Lord bless Karon in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Glory be to God. Yes, Kaboza Katayanama, Biri Azalabo, Rababa. I see Lady Janetta. The Lord bless you, Lady Janetta. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Great grace upon you. Increase in the power and in the glory of God. In Jesus' name. God bless you, Lady Janetta. Thank God for your life, for your, your passion for God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Pastor Mark, the Lord bless you. A woman of God, may the Lord increase you greatly and mightily. May the fire and the mantle of God upon your life increase and increase greatly and mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. We appreciate you. Glory be to God. Zakuta Bazile Atuza Branda Hasia. As we move on, I see Pastor Adei, man of God. The Lord bless you, Pastor Adei from, from Ghana. The Lord bless you. Uh, I pray for the Lord to continually increase you. Uh, for the good work of the Lord that you are doing, for the grace of God upon your life, the mantle of God upon you. May the Lord increase His grace upon you and may you also affect and impart many lives in this end time. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that the Lord will increase your ministry in the name of Jesus. Thank you uh, for being, being uh, loyal to this ministry and also thank you for the good work of the Lord. Uh, you are doing and it's always a great pleasure to have you on the platform in jesus precious name god bless you sir lady confidence the lord bless you uh, great grace upon you in the name of jesus such a great 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 awesome uh, um, such a great awesome uh, partner of this ministry here in england the lord bless you you are such a blessing to us may the lord continue to bless you and increase you and favor you more and more in Jesus' name, may the grace of God and the oil of God increase upon you. I pray for the impartation of wisdom. The impartation of wisdom. I hear the impartation of wisdom to be released upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, Lady Confidence. Hallelujah. Glory be to God and praise be to Jesus. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Wow, Kingston. Kingston. Mazoka Valakataya. Yes, I, I, I thank God for that. We will come there by the grace of God. Uh, we are believing God so strongly. We are going to be coming there. So get ready. You are going to be the organizer. Get ready. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you so much. Doing. Amen. And continue with the good work of the Lord. May God expand you. May God enlarge your coast. May all your enemies scatter. Every enemy in your life, let them scatter. Those that want you to go down, I see them going down. Anybody in your life that wants you to go down, let them go down by fire by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Yes, 
every group of people that have conspired evil against you, brother doing, we scatter them. Let the Lord scatter them. Let the Lord scatter them. I see some group of people, eh? some group of people, they wish evil for you. Let their evil wish, let it go back to them. Let their evil wish, let their evil wish be disappointed by the power of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you, sir. Amen. Be blessed and be lifted. Continue with the good work of the Lord. Amen. Sakota Barakazus. Abayana Mazula Gataya. Ebando Shaga. Ragabadus Yata. Yes, let's move on. Let's move on. I believe I have welcomed everybody now on the platform. So let's move on because of time. Hallelujah. I see um, Lady Melissa, but she's here as Tanya. But we welcome her in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, Lady Tanya. Uh, she's in England here. She's in Croydon, England. We thank God for her life. Uh, uh, she was connected by Lady Samantha, Samantha Boo. Uh, from uh, Jamaica. The Lord bless you. Uh, Tanya, welcome to you this afternoon. I pray for the great grace of God to increase upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, Melissa. Amen. Let's go. Today we are continuing. Uh, I see Lady Sylvia uh, from Ghana. Uh, Lady Sylvia, the Lord bless you. Connecting via Facebook. God bless you. Greatly and mightily in the name of Jesus. A Jesus mighty name. Amen. Great grace upon you and the family. In Jesus name. Glory be to God. Amen. Right. So we are continuing uh, the, the benefits of the resurrection. The benefits of the resurrection. Uh, the benefits that we receive from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Part 4b. By the grace of God, we are moving forward. We are moving forward. I don't want to be recapping uh, because there's a lot we have touched uh, from the beginning of this subject. And I want us to continue because of time. Uh, those, those of you who have missed some of the parts of this message, it is very important and it is very, very incumbent that we go back into the messages on YouTube. All the messages are there. So I encourage you and I recommend that you go back and you can be watching them and you begin to uh, get the message, the full message. We started from part one, the introduction, part one, part two, part three, and part four A was yesterday. Today we are continuing with part four B. So I don't want to be going back because it draws us back. I want us to move forward in the name of Jesus. So as I have advised, I want everybody to be going back into the messages. It's very, very important that when we do the live stream encounters, we shouldn't leave it there. We should go back. We should rehearse and go back so that it will be a great blessing to us. And uh, I pray that God will give us the grace to go back into the messages in Jesus' mighty name. Today we continue and our scripture for today is found in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3, sorry. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 and I read, According as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Amen. Let me repeat the scripture again. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. According as his divine power have given us unto all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. So, after resurrection, we, we, receive, we receive all things that pertains to life and godliness. Glory be to God. After the resurrection of Jesus, one of the benefits we have received is that we have received the benefit of uh, restoration of all things that pertains to life and and godliness. That is what we read in the book of 2 Peter 1.3. So, when Jesus resurrected, 
he did not only give us the Holy Spirit, which we saw as our last benefit. I've mentioned so many things, but we are moving on. He gave us all things. Through the resurrection, we receive all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. And what are, all, what are the things, when we say all things that pertains to life and godliness, what do we mean? Everything, everything that must make you and I happy in life. Everything that must make you and I happy in life. Through redemption. The Bible says that when Jesus died and he resurrected, he gave us all things. After resurrection, all things were given to us. God gave everything to us. According to his divine power, he had given all things that pertained to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory. So, to glory and virtue. So when Jesus rose from the dead, he rose into glory and into virtue. And he gave us all things. All things. All things. The Bible speaks uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible says that blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Hallelujah. So, God has blessed us with all things that pertains to life and godliness. And after resurrection, Jesus gave it all to us. Because when Adam lost the dominion mandate and all things that God gave to Adam, Satan ceded, he ceded it to Satan. So Adam, who was the first Adam or the first man, he lost it. And Jesus, who became the second Adam, Bible says he came and took it back from Satan and gave it all to us. So when he resurrected, he resurrected into glory and virtue. And everything that must make you and I happy was given back to us. I pray and prophesy over your life by the benefit of resurrection. All things that pertains to life and godliness belongs to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. When Jesus rose from the dead, he had conquered everything that the devil stole. Everything the devil stole and hid it. Economy attire in hell was taken from him. It, the Bible says in Colossians 2, 14, 15, that he made a public show. He destroyed them. He destroyed principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. The enemy... Was, was destroyed. And after resurrection, Jesus took everything he took back from us. He took it from his hands and gave it to us. So you and I, we have access to all things that pertains to life and godliness. Now in redemption, redemption is a package. Redemption is a package. Salvation is a package. Hallelujah. Everything that God wants us to be fulfilled with is embedded spiritually in salvation. Hallelujah. Everything that God wanted man to enjoy was embedded spiritually in salvation. Now, the package of salvation consists of our redemption. It consists of life and godliness. It consists of our healing our deliverance, our joy, our peace, our harmony, wisdom, knowledge, strength, power, honor, glory. All these things are embedded in the gift of salvation. So when Jesus rose from the dead, he gave us the gift of salvation again that the devil took away from Adam because he was the restorer of our salvation. He restored Every good thing that God has in store for you and I. So resurrection fully gave us the benefit of all things that pertains to life and godliness. I pray in the name of Jesus that you and I, we will not be going around searching for things. But we will activate, we will activate the benefit of the resurrection that gave us all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. 
everything that you and I will ever need in this life is in the gift of salvation. Hallelujah. And many of us, we are chasing for the things. But all the things that we want is already spiritually embedded in the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So resurrection gave us access into all the things we desire. All the things we desire. Life is number one. The gift of life. That is why Jesus said in the book of John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I am come, that they may have life. Who are the they? You and I. Hallelujah. John 10, 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. Let's, let's read it. John chapter 10, the verse number 10. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Uh, please, somebody should give us John 10, 10. Lady, uh, Lady Madalas, Lady Monica, give us John 10, 10. Uh, in the NLT, in the New Living Translation, or Lady Confidence, you can also give it to us. Praise be to God. John chapter 10, verse 10. Praise be to God. Jesus said, The thief, referring to the devil, referring to the adversary, referring to Satan. So Satan is a thief. He came to stole all things that God gave to us. When man was created. Hallelujah. He came and stole it. And who brought it back to us? Jesus gave it back to us. All things that pertains to life and godliness. Jesus gave it back to us. Because the enemy stole it. The devil stole it. He is a thief. Jesus called the devil a thief. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Let's read it. The Lord bless you. I see blessed one. Great grace upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Increase in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I see Lady Margaret. The Lord bless you, Lady Margaret. Thank you for connecting. Great grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal. One, to kill. Two, and three, to destroy. Jesus said, I am come that they might have life. Who are the they? We, you and I. He said he came for us so that we have what? Life. And look at it. So the first thing God came for us to have is life. God is interested in our life. Our life. He is interested in... In our spirit, our soul, and our body. He is interested in our life. Hallelujah. The devil is not interested in our lives. He wants to destroy our life. God is interested in our life. But the devil wants to destroy our life. He wants to steal us, kill us, and destroy our life. God is interested in our lives. So God is always giving. God is a giver. God is the greatest giver. Zana Makatoa. He wants to give us all things that pertains to life and godliness. The devil wants to take from us. The devil is a taker. He only takes. He doesn't give. If somebody tells you the devil gives, no, he doesn't give. Whenever you see the devil give, he is just giving and showing that he also can give. But he will take it back again from you. Hallelujah. God, in his attribute, he gives to us. So after resurrection, Jesus gave all things that pertains to life and godliness. Now, when you read that scripture, uh, welcome to you, I see... Rinaldo, Rinaldo Ar Aramini, he said, if he is the right one to marry, <laughs> okay, welcome to you, 
Welcome to you. Uh, Amani. Amani Felicita. The Lord bless you. Please tell us where you are connecting from. Uh, and let us know who gave you invitation to join us. Uh, it's great to have you on the platform. Uh, introduce yourself to us. And please tell us how you got connected to this ministry and this platform. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So... He wants prayer for his um, somebody called Rinaldo. We pray for him that may the Lord give him direction in, into marriage in the name of Jesus. We pray for Rinaldo that may the Lord give him direction, divine direction into marriage in the name of Jesus. The Lord favor him in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Amani. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Lord bless you, Lady Megan. Welcome to you also. Great grace upon you this afternoon. Uh, be lifted. And be favored by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. I see Lady Shanta. The Lord bless you also. Great grace upon you, Lady Shanta. Good afternoon to you. And blessings to you. Favor upon your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, Amani, um, you have been advised to subscribe to join us and be part of this family and this ministry god bless you amani in jesus mighty name amen glory be to god so people of god let's move on yes so the scripture we saw in the book of um second peter uh, chapter 1 verse 3 i want us to re-echo it again second peter uh, chapter number one the verse number three the Bible speaks of God's divine power that He has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness. I want to I want to establish something here by the grace of God. Uh, there's something I want you to understand. When Jesus rose from the dead, He rose by the divine power of God. So resurrection power is the divine power of God. So the Bible says that according to His divine power, whose power? The divine power of the Almighty God, which was invested in Christ Jesus when He rose. When Jesus rose, that power, He gave that power also to us. Hallelujah. That power. That power, the power to have all things that pertains to life and godliness. You and I, everything we ever need is in the power of God. We access it through the power of God. We access all things that pertains to our life and godliness by the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. So that is what I wanted to establish there. The power of God that was in Christ Jesus, that rose Jesus from the dead. That power he had given to us to access all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. All things that pertains to life and godliness. Everything you need can be accessed through the, the divine power of God. That is resurrection power. The divine power of God. Resurrection power. So after resurrection... That is what he had given to us. All things through his power. All things. We have access to all things. There is nothing that you and I should lack. We should not lack anything. Hallelujah. We should not lack anything. He has given us his divine power, which is his grace. His all-sufficient grace. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. The Lord bless you, brother Jason. Welcome to you this afternoon. Great grace upon you. In the name of Jesus. Receive the, the divine power of God that he has given to us uh, to, 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 to access all things that pertains to life and godliness. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Sir. Hallelujah. So he said, according to his divine power that he has given to us all things that pertains to life and unto godliness through the knowledge of him, through his knowledge, the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of that is why knowledge is very, very key. That's why the Bible says that for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. So if we don't operate in the knowledge of God, the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge in Christ, if we don't operate in that power, then we, be, we will become a disadvantage 
who will become disadvantaged, and the, the enemy will the enemy will, will use that as an advantage against us. That is why Paul said that that lest we should be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Because the devil will use his devices to make us ignorant of the power that God has invested in you and I. That is why many people are operating. There are many people in the kingdom. They are still operating under, under the power of God. Why? Because of lack of knowledge of him. That has called us unto his glory and virtue. He has called us unto glory and virtue. And we should have revelation knowledge of him. Hallelujah. You see, the disciples at, at some point, they were walking with Jesus. They were eating with Jesus. They, they, they did everything with Jesus. They slept with Jesus. They walked with Jesus. They sat with Jesus. They ate with the Lord Jesus Christ. But they didn't have knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. And that is what is happening to many believers in this, in this day and age. Many believers don't still know the God that they, are, they have given their life to. He has called us into glory and into virtue. Glory and virtue. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. The Bible says that, but the God of all grace, who have called us all into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that we have suffered for a while, he will perfect us, he will perfect all things, he will establish us, he will strengthen us, and he will what? He, 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 he will settle you, us. The God of all grace. He has called us into what? His eternal glory. This call that God has called us is into eternal glory. He has called us into his glory. And the glory of God is supersedes and transcends above all things. The glory of God. In the glory of God, everything exists in the glory of God. God's glory. The glory, his glory is everything. God and his, his glory, his glory is himself. You cannot separate the glory of God from God. Hallelujah. So he has called us into glory. This is, the Bible even talks about God does not share his glory with no, with no other. But if the scripture is saying that he has called us into his glory, into his glory by Christ Jesus, then you can understand that God has given himself to us. He has given all things within himself to us. How can, how can God say he does not share his glory? But the Bible is saying here, is saying that he has called us into his glory and unto virtue. That means that how he wants to, how he is, he wants us to also be like that. That is why the Bible says that he has, he has called us into conformity to the image of his dear son. He has conform, called us into his conformity to his, his dear son. He wants us to conform to, to, to be in the image of Jesus. That when he sees us, he sees Jesus. He, when he sees you and I, God sees you and I as his son Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the glory and the virtue he has called us into. And he did that after resurrection. He had restored everything to us. Restoration of all things. Restoration of all things. There is no way you and I should lack. There is no way you and I should operate in insufficiency, inadequacy, setback, limitation, struggles, failure, disappointment, barrenness, all kinds of negativities. No. God has called us to glory. And until you and I, we position our mind. Until you and I, we structure our mind that we are in Christ Jesus and have the mind of Christ. We cannot operate in his glory and virtue. Hallelujah. We must have the mind of Christ. We must have the mind of kingdom people. He has called us into glory and power. 
After resurrection, he gave us glory. Jesus rose into glorification. And we have also rose into glorification. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So we must walk in the power of resurrection. We must operate in the power of resurrection. So he has benefited us with all things, all things that pertains to life and godliness. I speak over your life. There is no lack in your life. There is no limitation in your life. There is no setback in your life. You have to see yourself like that. There is no struggle in your life. There is no sickness in your life. There is no limitation. There is no setback. There is no retrogression. There is nothing in your life. Everything that you must become, he gave it to you after resurrection. All things that pertains to life and godliness, he has given to you and I by his divine power. By his divine power. We operate in power. We have power. We have power. The power of Christ. Hallelujah. We have power. And we must operate in this power. Hallelujah. Receive that grace. Receive that favor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. So he has called us into knowledge and of him into his glory and unto virtue. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God and praise be to Jesus. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Azun de Bruce Kataya. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the verse number 42. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the verse number 42. Glory be to God. I'll bring it in the King James. Somebody should give us the new uh, living translation 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verse number 42 and we'll read down to the 40 44th verse hallelujah 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verse number 42 praise be to God hallelujah now the Bible says so also is the resurrection of the dead it is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Bring it to us in, uh, in the New Living Translation, uh, Lady Madalas or Lady Confidence. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Let's 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 have it. Yes, thank you so much. The Lord bless you, Lady Madalas. The Lord bless you. This is NLT. It is the same way with the resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to life forever. That is restoration. Restoration of life. Hallelujah. When Jesus entered into the grave, his body was like a seed. His body, the body that was beaten at crucifixion. And after crucifixion, he was buried. So that means that he was sown into the ground. Do you know that when a body is when a body is buried in the ground, it has been sold if that person is in Christ Jesus. So, whilst the body is in the ground, there is decomposition going on. The body is going to rot. Termites will eat the body. But because there is life in us, in Christ Jesus, in resurrection, the body is planted. The body is planted like a seed. So, Paul here is saying, it is the same way with resurrection. 
of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die. So when we die, we are not dead. When we die in Christ, we are not dead. We are being planted like a seed. But they will be raised to life forever. Resurrection, restoration, restitution. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our bodies is, is just going to rotten. But our spirit is alive. Our spirit is still living. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is restoration of all things. So resurrection, re resurrection gave us life. Life after life after life. Abundant life. Hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 43. Let's move on. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. You see? Then when we read 2 Peter 1, 3, that is what he said. That according to his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And by the knowledge of him, who? Christ. He has called us into glory and virtue. And look at what he said here. He said, our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, but will be raised in strength. You see, he said they will be raised in glory. Hallelujah. He will be raised in... So when Jesus entered into the grave and he was buried, his body was broken. His bones were they beat him. His bones was broken. Everything. They lashed him. So many lashes. And the, the body was weak. But on the third day, he raised in glory. On the third day, he raised in glory. Somebody, I'm telling you, anything you see in your life that looks like he's broken, that looks like he's dead, that looks like he's, he's weak, I see the power of resurrection empowering you and, and giving you strength in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise be to God and glory be to Jesus. Welcome to you, Lady Mara. The Lord bless you, Lady Mara. Great grace upon you. Uh, and welcome to you this, this morning for Global Rema World Encounter. The Lord bless you for connecting in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all things that pertains to life and godliness, which was given to us as a benefit after resurrection, may you and I become partakers of it. May you become a partaker of it. May you become a candidate of it. May you become a conduit of it by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive all things that pertains to life and godliness in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Lady Mara. So, you see what the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, 44, uh, 43. And he said, our bodies will be raised in glory. Now, it continued in the verse number 44. Thank you so much, Lady Madalas. They are buried as natural human bodies. You see? But they will be raised as spiritual bodies. You see? It will be raised in glory, which is also synonymous to spiritual. Hallelujah. Bodies will be raised spiritually. When Jesus comes again, we, uh, those that are dead in Christ, in the grave, their bodies will all be transformed. It will be glorified as spiritual bodies. It, they, our bodies will become spiritual bodies. Just like Jesus now, Jesus now in heaven, his body is a, is a glorified body. That is why when you mention the name of Jesus, Jesus is in heaven, but he can appear here on earth. He has a glorified body. That's why Jesus is revealing himself to many people. Don't you hear that? In, in the news and in, in, in social media, everywhere. There are places that the Lord Jesus Christ, now, 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 he is manifesting himself to people. People that have disbelieved him, he show himself to them. He will appear and they will see him and they will encounter him. They will have divine encounter. They will say, yes, I've met Jesus. I've seen Jesus. I've encountered Jesus. Why? Because he appeared with resurrection power and glory. He's glo the glorified body of Jesus. He's a spirit, but he has a body. And that is who we will become. And that is who we are. Even now, there are people who are still alive. They are appearing in so many places. 
That's why sometimes, by the grace of God, I can be ministering, but God can, can take me to somewhere. I can see somewhere. I can be in some country. I can be in some nation. Or I can see somebody somewhere. It is the Spirit of Christ. It is the Spirit of Christ that does that. Hallelujah. I can be ministering here, sitting down on the, the, the camera and ministering life. And God will be showing me something in Australia. God will show me something in uh, India. God will show me something in, in uh, Denmark. God will show me something in Africa somewhere or Jamaica. This is not a joke. This is rea it's real. There are people who have had encounters. They are, Jesus took their spirit, their body. They, they, are, they see themselves coming out of their body. And they see their body. And Jesus will raise them to high places. And they will go and encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus will talk to them. Or angels. He will let angels meet them. And they will sit down with angels. Hallelujah. Just like in the days of in the days of Jesus, when he was praying, he had prayed in the Mount of Gethsemane for long hours, and the Bible says that Elijah came and Moses came. Elijah came and Moses came, and he saw them. He saw Elijah and Moses, and they were ministering to him. They were talking to him, and they were saying to him that he will finish his mission. Hallelujah. So this thing is is true. This thing is reality. We are not. We are not playing with Christianity. We are living in the dispensation, the, the, the dispensation of power and of glory and of the Holy Spirit. That is the dispensation we are living now. We are, we are not joking with the kingdom things. Hallelujah. Resurrection is real. He rose. And he's still showing himself. He's a gl glorified spirit. Jesus is a glorified spirit. That is why the Bible says, let's go to the book of Reve uh, Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Glory be to God. Praise be to God. Give it to us. Revelation chapter 19, the verse number 10. In the New Living Translation or any other version as well. Revelation chapter 19, the verse number 10. Glory be to God. Zaluka parakatu ashata. He gave us, he gave us restoration of all things and new things. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Please bring it to us in New Living Translation. I'm going to be reading the King James and then we'll move on. Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Who? This is John. John the Revelator. John. John who wrote Revelation. This is a revelation of Jesus Christ. He, he, Jesus revealed himself to him. The Bible says that John was praying on the last day. He was praying and he had prayed for so long. And the Bible says he was taken into the spirit. The Holy Spirit took him to, to reveal Jesus to him. You see, a man was praying, a man like you and I. He had prayed, he was praying and praying on the last day. He has given his time for prayer and he was praying and all of a sudden the spirit was taken. He took him and he said, I fell at his feet and worshipped him. When he saw Jesus, he saw the glory. When he saw Jesus, he said, wow, this is Jesus, the glory of God. Jesus is the glory of God. Jesus is the glory. There's no one like him. I'm telling you, there is no one like Jesus. He worshipped him. He saw the awesomeness of Jesus. He saw the greatness of Jesus. He saw the magnificency of Jesus. He worshipped him. He fell down at his feet and worshipped him. Glory and honor to him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it, do it not. See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant. You see, I am thy fellow servant. That is what he told him. He told John. Hallelujah. And of thy brethren. Hallelujah. That we have the testimony of Jesus. We have the word, the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. 
for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. The, the, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Jesus is the resurrection spirit of Christ. That is why in these last days, in this end time, he, is, he has released his spirit, the spirit of prophecy upon his people. Those who are connected to him, those who love him, those who are serving him, those who worship him in truth and in spirit, he will release the spirit of prophecy upon you. And when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, you the devil cannot stop you. Because the spirit of prophecy is Jesus himself. Everywhere you are going, he is, he is on you. He is, Jesus is on top of you. Oh, yes, that's the spirit of prophecy. Is the, that is the resurrection spirit of Christ. It can raise the dead. It can call the things that be not as though they were. It can change things. It can transform things. The spirit of Jesus can, it can do everything. The spirit of Jesus, it can do everything. It can walk on the sea. Yes. The spirit of Jesus can stop tornado. It can stop everything. The eclipse they are talking about, he can stop the eclipse. The spirit of Jesus. Even in the days, in the days of the patriarchs, the old patriarchs, they were having the spirit of Jesus. David was having the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. That's why he could see Jesus and he could prophesy that Jesus will be will, will die and he will raise on the third day. Isaiah had it. People like Ezra, they had it. Joel, they had it. Even Abraham had it. Solomon had it. Joseph had it. Isaac, they, he had it. I'm telling you. So he said, I fell at his feet. And worship him. And he said, I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren. And have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's why we must testify of Jesus more. The more we testify of Jesus, the more the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of Christ stays on us. And the devil cannot stop you and I. Everything becomes easy for you. I'm telling you. Yes. He has graced us this power. He has graced us this power. This is, this is the awesome power of God. This is the sovereign power of God. The spirit of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy, is the awesome power of God. Is the sovereign power of God. Nothing can stop it. The devil couldn't stop it. The devil cannot stop the spirit of Jesus. Hallelujah. He tried and he tried and tried. He couldn't stop it. Hallelujah. He tried into the grave. And he couldn't stop it. Glory be to God. And that is what he has given to us for us to operate in. We are operating in the power of the testimony of Christ, which is the, the resurrection spirit, the resurrection power. And it, he has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. All things. You and I, we have all things. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And praise be to Jesus. Zanamo tulik atalagataya. Badu ateleve azuapaya. Receive the power that he has given to us. The power that pertains to all things in life and godliness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And praise be to Jesus. Let's move on. Let's move on. Or maybe we'll stop here and tomorrow we'll continue. Yes. Let's stop here. We'll continue. We have made one hour of the time. I pray for you and I, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the spirit of prophecy, which is Christ Jesus, the spirit of the Lord God Almighty, may it be activated upon us that all things that pertains to life and godliness that was given to us after resurrection, may we become partakers of it. Now, in the name of Jesus, may we become partakers of it right now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice, begin to pray. Talk to God. Tell God, Lord, let me be a partaker of the Spirit of Christ. 
Let me be a partaker of the resurrection grace of Jesus, the resurrection spirit of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me become a partaker of, of it right now in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Matuka bariasa, melekuzu ata, matuka biri azala mazuza, iyan katolibi aza, rabiri kato shaka, zanama kato ziakata, ye kabado zi atana maboria. Lift up your voice. Somebody pray. Kabandolu izata. Yengdele me kazu apa. Yakata la baragatus. Yamadedele atata. Uza branagatuzi ata la baha. Lord, let me be a partaker uh, and a conduit. Let me be a partaker and a conduit of the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus, which is the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Spirit of resurrection of Christ Jesus. Let me be a partaker of it. Give me the power to operate in it, the grace to operate in this power, in the name of Jesus, uh, the power that pertains to all things and godliness, in the name of Jesus. Kabeni Azala Katoa, Ejagabalagada, Rekabaraba, somebody pray, Ajeneme Kapo Zakata, Ezala Baba Bala Baba, Yando Zadidi Azaya, Yama Zakuta Hazakatua, Aje Katola Braha, Lord, let the spirit of prophecy. Let the spirit of Christ Jesus remain on me continually in Jesus' mighty name. For I have access to all things that pertains to life and godliness through the power of the resurrection grace of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you all saints of God. Thank you. Thank you so much for being part of this encounter. I believe you have been blessed. By the grace of God, I have been blessed. And I pray that we will all continually be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God and praise be to Jesus. Right now, I give this opportunity to those who are saying, Lord Jesus, I want to become a partaker of your spirit, your resurrection spirit and grace and power. I accept you right now. Be my Lord and my Savior. Right now, if you want to make that decision, please pray this prayer with me. Or you are saying, Lord Jesus, I want my relationship with you to be stronger and stronger. Let your resurrection grace and power continually dwell upon me. In Jesus' mighty name. Pray this prayer with me. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I come to you just as I am. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. I repent of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Right now, I believe that my sins are forgiven. I confess with my mouth that you are the son of the living God. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me. And on the third day, you rose again for my justification. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I'm justified by your blood. I am born again. I'm saved. I'm a child of God. I'm free from the power of sin and death. Heavenly Father, give me the power to save you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for receiving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for restoring me. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Amen. The Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name. If you have prayed this prayer, you have become a born-again believer. Uh, the Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, all things are passed away and all things have become new. You are a child of God and you carry the Spirit of Christ Jesus. I pray for us all in the name of Jesus right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the glory of God rest upon us mightily. May the resurrection spirit of Christ Jesus rest upon us in the name of Jesus. May we become carriers. May we become conduits, partakers and candidates of the spirit of prophecy, which is the spirit of Christ Jesus, the power that raised Jesus from the dead, the spirit of Christ. May we operate in it even now and forevermore. You and I, we have access to all things that pertains to life and godliness through the resurrection spirit of Christ Jesus. Begin to operate and begin to operate and receive the things that pertains to life and godliness into your life in the name of Jesus. Restoration, favor, wisdom, honor, glory, power, virtue, 
all things, blessings, let it be your portion by the power of the spirit of resurrection in the name of Jesus. I cancel lack. I cancel the spirit of setback. I cancel out of your life the spirit of barrenness, every spirit of retrogression, every spirit of limitation. Kabandu Shakata Yakatoa. I cancel it out of our lives by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are carriers of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Operate in this power in the name of Jesus. I command doors to be open, doors that are closed. Let it be open by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Enter into your blessing. Enter into your breakthroughs. Enter into your testimony in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you all saints of God. Stay mightily blessed. In the name of Jesus. And know that the spirit of Christ Jesus is in you. The, the resurrection spirit of Jesus is in you. It's in you. And you are unstoppable. You are unbreakable. You are undefeatable. You are undeniable. In the name of Jesus. You are unkillable. You are undiable. Because if the resurrection spirit of Christ that raised him from the dead dwelleth in you. Then you and I. We are unstoppable. Nothing can stop us. In the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that we have that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Our faith in the resurrection makes us overcomers. Our faith in the resurrection power of Jesus makes us to become unstoppable, undeniable, unbreakable, uh, un undefeatable, undiable, unlosable. Ah, unlackable. You cannot lack. You cannot be defeated. You are above and above all in the name of Jesus. Receive this power and this grace in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his light of countenance upon you. May the glory of the Lord be risen upon us. May the great grace of God continually rest upon us. May we increase in God's glory and power and dominion and authority even now and forevermore. Be blessed highly. Be exalted. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. May God connect you to the things that you want to see manifesting into your life. And may you see them in reality and in physicality in the name of the Lord Jesus. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. Yes, mama, receive the power. Receive the power of resurrection. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Every organs of your body, let it be revived. By the power of the Spirit of Christ, in the name of Jesus, Zakuta Bala Kazua Kata, any organs in your body that looks weak, let them be re energized, let them be revitalized by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. You have been revived, you have been revived, you have been strengthened. Receive the strength of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord bless you all. Be blessed. I, I said, Be blessed. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Access all the things that belongs to you and I. Access them in the name of Jesus. And as we give to the Lord, and as we give unto the work of God, may you also become a partaker of blessings in the name of Jesus. Financial favor, financial blessings, material blessings, spiritual blessings. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree the Abrahamic blessings upon you, the Isaac blessings upon you, the, 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 the Jacobic blessings upon you, the Davidic blessings and anointings, and the Solomonic blessings and anointings upon you. Receive it now by fire by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' precious name. God bless you all, saints of God. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Shalom. The peace of God be with you all. And we will connect tonight in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brother Ina, the Lord bless you. Brother Ina, I miss you there. The Lord bless you. Great grace upon you. Receive the power uh, to access all things that pertains to life and godliness. In the name of Jesus. Lack is cancelled out of your life. Brother Ina, every spirit of lack in your life is cancelled uh, in the name of Jesus. Access the blessings of God. Access all things that pertains to life and godliness. Access it now. Uh, by his divine power in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. Saints of God, be blessed. Stay mightily blessed. And I will connect with you all uh, this afternoon. Lady uh, Ladusi, 
The Lord bless you. I miss you there also. Great grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, receive all things that pertains to life and godliness through his divine power. In the name of Jesus, receive the things, even the things of the mysteries of the kingdom. May it be unraveled to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, Lady Ladusi. Be blessed. And I'll connect with you all tonight in the place of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Greater is he that is in you than the devil that is out there in the world. In Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. Amen. You are victorious in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And stay blessed. And we will connect tonight in prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now.